Good morning and welcome. There's a transformation coming in logistics. Over the last decade, global demand for instant delivery has skyrocketed, but the technology we're using to deliver is 100 years old. We're still using the same 3,000 pound gas combustion vehicles driven by humans to make billions of deliveries that usually weigh less than five pounds. This is slow, it's expensive, and it's terrible for the planet. Eight years ago, we asked ourselves, what would delivery look like if we reimagined it to be 10 times as fast, zero emission, and accessible to everyone on Earth? That kind of logistics system would save lives and reshape global commerce. That seemed so incredibly important that we had to at least try to build it. Zipline started on this bluff in Half Moon Bay, which is our original test flight center. We've flown all of our initial prototypes here. We got lots of things wrong in the early days, but through real world learning, we built the technology, the systems, and the team to make automated instant delivery real. By 2016, we were ready to launch with our first customer, the government of Rwanda, and made our first delivery of blood to Kabgai District Hospital. Today, we serve 3,400 hospitals and health facilities globally, and we're contracted to serve over 10,000 by the end of this year. We deliver everything from COVID vaccines to insulin, cancer treatments to infusions and transfusions. As we expanded into Ghana, Nigeria, Kenya, Cote d'Ivoire, the US and Japan, our partners and customers have found endless opportunities to use autonomous logistics in new ways. While we initially focused on healthcare, our customers now use Zipline to deliver a wide variety of medical, e-commerce, animal, and agriculture products. In a few short years, Zipline went from serving a narrow need in blood logistics to becoming national infrastructure delivering a wide range of products. As a result, Zipline is now the largest autonomous delivery system on Earth. We've already flown over 40 million commercial autonomous miles. That's the equivalent of going to the moon and back 80 times. And we're on track to make twice as many deliveries this year as we made in all previous years combined. It's funny, people often ask me when drone delivery is gonna be a part of their daily lives. But for 30 million people across seven countries, including a few cities in the US, it already is. This kind of innovation just isn't happening in the places where people expect it to. For example, this is a view of the night sky at a distribution center that Zipline built for Walmart in Arkansas, as several of our aircraft line up to land after dropping off evening orders. For all the customers we serve from this distribution center, ordering what you need via drone delivery is totally normal these days. And Arkansas isn't alone. Let's quickly visit some distribution centers. Shami, can you talk us through what deliveries you're making in Rwanda? Thanks, Keller. It's a beautiful day in Mohanga today. It's only 9.30 a.m. and we are past 100 flights already and we're still going. Since our blood emergency product just went out, let me talk about these two packages instead. Starting from last year, we're supporting the government of Rwanda's efforts by distributing child nutrition commodities and animal health and husbandry products. This package contains F75 therapeutic milk. It's one of the products that I used in the treatment of severe acute malnutrition. The government of Rwanda has a program that supports early childhood development through the eradication of malnutrition and stunted growth amongst young children. The second package contains artificial insemination products. After the introduction of improved genetic materials across the country through the artificial insemination campaign ongoing, we have animal vaccination campaigns to prevent disease outbreaks. This results in better economic opportunity for farmers, and it is part of the country's effort towards becoming self-sufficient in terms of food production. Back to you, Keller. Thanks, Shami. Now let's hop to Salt Lake City, where Intermountain Health is using Zipline to deliver directly to their customers throughout a major US city. Here are the distribution centers that Zipline uses to serve 20 million people in Ghana. And here's our DC in Japan, built in partnership with Toyota Chusho, which delivers to towns and islands throughout the southern coastline. Many think that although Zipline has scaled dramatically in Africa, this technology isn't critical in the US. But health systems in the US are proving them wrong. 
For example, Intermountain Health, Multicare, Magellan, and other healthcare partners who we are going to announce today are relying on Zipline at scale to ensure that prescriptions, over-the-counter medicine, and specialty care products will be delivered instantly to patients. Our customers are now using Zipline not just to save lives, but also to reduce emissions, to increase economic opportunity, and provide new logistic services at national scale. Our technology needs to evolve and grow alongside them. Over the last six years, Zipline has been operating an instant logistics network that mainly serves hospitals and businesses. But while we've been scaling this first system globally, we've also been quietly building our next generation platform. Today, we're announcing Zipline's home delivery service. Soon, people will be able to press a button on their phone and moments later have their order magically delivered to their doorstep or backyard. Our goal for this new service is to feel like teleportation. How will that really work? Well, we're really excited to show you today. It's about more than dinner time. It's more than diapers and more than vaccines. It's about reinventing delivery for good. Faster speeds, fewer emissions, whisper quiet. But this is so much more than a drone company. This is autonomous logistics for everyone, everywhere. That was a great introduction to our new delivery capability. It's about delivery to everyone, everywhere. This capability is designed from the ground up for home delivery, no matter if that's in a dense city, a suburban town, or a rural area. The future of delivery is on your schedule and on time. And we're experts in delivering fast and on time, down to that very second. We do that today, all day, every day. But time and speed are not the only things that matter. Today we can deliver to you if you have enough space for us to fly over and float a package into your yard. But we knew that to create a delivery experience that works for everyone, we needed to be able to deliver to the space you have. That means doing so securely, reliably, and in a way that feels truly magical. This new delivery experience works for a tiny backyard, a small patio, a stoop, or a small courtyard of a building. This new experience is enabled by a new platform with a unique two-part architecture, the Zip itself and a delivery droid. The Zip has wings to fly fast and far, and it can also hover in place when it gets to its delivery destination. While the Zip is hovering, the delivery droid lowers to drop off the package. And it's the droid that enables deliveries to land exactly where you want them. There are many innovations working behind the scenes to make this kind of precision possible. One of the biggest is the ability of not just the drone to be autonomous, but the droid as well. The droid's up and down motion is precisely controlled by a winch, and its side to side motion is controlled by small integrated fans in the droid itself. The droid's autonomy is all powered by its own onboard sensors. That level of control means that even in high winds, and it's quite windy right now, we can still deliver without getting blown off course. In fact, we can deliver in winds so extreme, small branches are about to start breaking off trees. The little droid is the only thing that comes to the ground for delivery, leaving the zip hovering so high up, you barely notice it. But to make the best delivery experience, in addition to always being on time and delivering exactly where you want it, it's just as important that the delivery is unnoticeable. And to us, that means quiet. So quiet, in fact, that right now, the zip is actually hovering above me. At the same height it'll be when it makes the delivery, and you can barely hear it. Drones that you won't even notice in our world is how we design at Zipline. We design for the world we want to live in. We've been working hard on this new platform, iterating and refining this delivery concept for years. We're now in the phase of development. We're working on the production intent design that will ultimately be used all around the world. 
We're excited about this new platform because we think it's the best delivery experience. Not the best drone delivery experience, but the best delivery experience. It is fast and on time. Traffic, long distance, no problem. Orders magically appear. It is unobtrusive and quiet. It can deliver to secure places like your backyard or patio. No more porch pirates. But the delivery experience is only half of what makes this new platform so special. How you use it to ship is just as magical. And to tell you about it, here's Joe. Thanks, Keenan. When we set out in our design process, we wanted to create the best experience we could. We've been learning from our partners who are some of the leading businesses and governments around the world. They want something built for flexibility and scale, but also simple to use, even simpler than the systems they use to send orders today. After many iterations, we built a platform that integrates seamlessly. That means our customers can send orders directly from a pharmacy, a restaurant, a warehouse, and almost anywhere else. Take a look. Now here's Sarah to tell you more. Thanks, Joe. This is all made possible with the dock. This dock is versatile and low profile, allowing seamless access to Zipline's instant delivery network. Here's how it works. The zip flies into the dock and lowers the droid into the loading portal. The droid then shows up inside any room, just like this one. You get the order, load it in, and that's it. Almost anything can be loaded and delivered using this system. And even before your next order is ready to go, the next droid is already waiting for you in the portal. Say a convenience store worker gets an order for a handful of everyday essentials. They grab the items, put them in a bag or a box, and load them into the droid. By using Zipline, orders like food can be delivered minutes after they come out of the kitchen. Cold things stay cold, hot stuff stays piping hot, and everything stays neat and tidy. Not only can orders be sent out with a portal, but orders can also be received with one, which means items can be delivered directly inside. Consider a lab sample that your doctor takes when you visit the doctor's office. The sample can be loaded at the doctor's office and then received inside the lab in minutes. No more once-a-day pickups or waiting days for results. Once orders are loaded into the droid, it rises up into the zip and then automatically takes off out of the dock and flies to the delivery site. To make the dock fully portable and modular, we put all the technology, like charging and thermal management, directly into the dock itself. It allows our partners to choose the mount that works best for them, and there's a wide set of configurations to choose from. A restaurant that needs to do a couple dozen deliveries an hour might look like this, or a health system that needs to do a few hundred deliveries a day might look like this. Our biggest partners that need to do a thousand deliveries a day, Zipline can support that too. But if you're not ready, or don't need to mount a dock directly on a building, we also have a freestanding version that requires no permit. Just set it up and go. Our zips will always be ready for orders. All our partners need to do is put their orders through the loading portal. Back to you, Joe. Thanks, Sarah. 
In our lives, we're constantly asked to choose between speed and sustainability. Imagine if we did not need to compromise. Take food delivery, for example. Today, when you order from a local restaurant, a driver puts your three pound meal in a 3,000 pound gas car to drive across town. Because Zips are small, fully electric, and fly directly to their destination, we produce 97% fewer emissions to deliver that same meal. That means that for the same environmental impact of making a single order with a gas car, Zipline could make 34 deliveries. 34 whole orders. The fact that our system is both super efficient and has zero tailpipe emissions is just part of what makes Zipline sustainable and better for the world we live in. For example, a long operational life is critical. In fact, each Zip is built to fly further in its lifetime than the average car drives, more than a quarter of a million miles. This requires a tremendous amount of engineering and testing, and achieving this level of reliability is hard. Hundreds of Zipline engineers are putting years of work into building systems that last. We test every single part rigorously in simulation and in the real world, from the zips in the sky to the ducks on the ground. We do this so things like extreme weather don't get in the way of long lifetimes. If our technology lasts longer, it means less manufacturing, less shipping, and fewer materials, which all mean lower costs and greater access everywhere. And ultimately, making goods more accessible to everyone around the world is at the heart of what we do. Our Zips will operate together sustainably at unparalleled speed to cover an entire region. Platform One will continue to efficiently cover huge areas, and this new platform, Platform Two, will layer into dense areas with ultra-precise deliveries, enabling a phenomenal home delivery service both platforms being radically more environmentally friendly than every other instant delivery alternative. This technology is the start of a more sustainable and accessible future. We're building the first logistic system that will serve all people equally. Today, we've flown more than 500,000 real world deliveries and we're adding technology to our system that prepares us to reach billions more people around the world. We're so excited that one of the first customers to use our fully integrated system will be the partner with whom Zipline first launched seven years ago, the government of Rwanda. In 2016, we began by delivering blood to healthcare facilities. And seven years later, we've seen the transformational impact of our partnership. The speed, reliability, and efficiencies we brought to medical distribution reduced expiration rates by 67%, reduced maternal mortality by 88%, and reduced CO2 emissions by 97% as compared to gas cars to date. Today, the Rwandan government is doubling down on our partnership to realize the full potential of instant drone delivery across all sectors. We're working with the Ministry of Health to improve childhood nutrition, the Ministry of Agriculture to help farmers raise healthier livestock, and expanding into hospitality and tourism to improve economic development. Keller had a chance to sit and talk to one of our first customers just last week. Here to talk more about how we're growing our partnership in Rwanda is His Excellency, President Paul Kagame. Hi, Your Excellency. It's great to see you. Great to see you. Keller, how are you doing? Good. You know, we really appreciate you being part of this launch announcement. We're very proud to have you. And this is still very early days in a major technological transformation that's happening globally. I think you're one of the people who's inspired us on that front. You know, continue to be bold and dream big and think about, okay, well, if we achieve this and this is now table stakes, you know, what could this look like in five years? What could this look like in 10 years? The growth and uh, the value of uh, this partnership uh, more or less speaks for itself. Maybe today it looks obvious, but I don't think it looked obvious in 2016 when you first bet on us. For sure not. <laughs> <laughs> Um, when we originally launched in Rwanda in 2016, we were a team of 15 nerds and all of the experts we spoke to told us that this idea wasn't going to work. You were really the first person who, who, who bet on Zipline as a team and on this idea. Why did you do that? If we look at even our history and where we have come from, it has been that of a lot of difficulties, but uh, we also understand we have to do things and move on. 
So much as it looked difficult from the beginning, uh, doing what we did together, uh, we, we, we thought we needed to try. And we are looking at three things really coming together. It's about people, it's about technology, it's about the innovations in between to make things work to improve people's lives, if you will. And I remember, I remember sitting with you at our first distribution center in Muhanga in 2016. At that time, you know, we started by just trying to deliver blood to 21 different hospitals in the country. And I remember you, you spent a whole hour with us and were emphasizing that you thought, you know, one day this would be delivering all medical products, not just to hospitals and health facilities, but also directly to homes. As the system has expanded over the last seven years to not just to basically exactly what you said, all medical products to every hospital and health facility in the country. Did that always seem obvious to you or did you find it surprising to see to see the system scale in the way that it did? So it wasn't very obvious, but we just believed in the idea itself and, and that of trying as well. The beauty of it, the moment you make one step forward and you see there is progress, then you, you even want to do more uh, every time at every stage. I, I, I was always uh, convinced, much as I wasn't uh, necessarily sure, <laughs> that, that something good can come out of it. You know, it's funny, I've not heard that distinction before, but I think that's a perfect description of how I felt as well. Mm. You know, not sure that it would work, but convinced that we had to try. Yeah. And one can use this particular case of our partnership, uh, Zipline and, and, and Rwanda, uh, as a case in the point of uh, transformation of uh, economic prosperity that changes people's lives for the better. Uh, the, what matters is the scale now. I remember when we originally launched in Rwanda in 2016, we were doing somewhere between five and 10 flights per day from our first distribution center. Uh, today, Zipline's busiest distribution centers in the world are in Rwanda. Some of them are now doing 350 flights in a day. Wow, <laughs> so, that's, that's a really good yeah. yeah. When we think about where this goes from here, I'm curious, you know, if you, especially focusing on this next generation product, what do you think that will enable in terms of healthcare access and economic growth? A lot. It now starts getting into other very profitable and productive uh, areas of uh, even e-commerce. Somebody sitting here says, I need this. The product is just uh, at the doorstep. And, and then people getting involved with that, those uh, behind the technology itself, but also those playing into the market, saving time and money and uh, everything else. Universal access to delivery is uh, responding to the needs. If we believe we can change things and move as fast as we can to where others are, is, is serving well society. That's what people really want. Well, thank you again for joining us, Your Excellency. I guess one last question. Yeah. Are you going to let uh, Are you going to let us add your house as one of the first delivery sites as we launch this new product at the end of this year? Let's make it the first. Yeah. <laughs> That's great. <laughs> Government leaders in Rwanda, Ghana, Japan, the United States, and other countries trust our track record. On any given day, we're flying animal vaccines through torrential rains in Ghana, crossing open water to deliver bento lunches in Japan and weathering sub-zero temperatures to transport medical products in Utah. The communities we serve need to be able to rely on us, even in extreme environments, to deliver what they need safely. We've flown over 40 million miles worth of commercial deliveries. The vast majority are autonomous flights flown beyond the visual line of sight of any human, and all without a single major safety event. And those aren't test flights. They're real deliveries through regulated airspace to real customers solving real problems. 
We've worked with international organizations to solve crucial public health problems. In March 2020, we partnered with Pfizer and the UPS Foundation to deliver COVID-19 vaccines. And Pfizer certified us to deliver all cold chain and ultra cold chain medical products. Today, we've flown 8 million doses of vaccines, both COVID and other vaccines across the world, and millions of units of blood and pharmaceutical products. We've partnered with Gavi, the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation, and the Elton John AIDS Foundation to improve access, equity, and health outcomes in countries across Africa. And it's working. While global vaccination rates decreased during the pandemic, they increased in the areas that Zipline serves. Here in the U.S., we're part of the FAA's Beyond program, which brings together regulators, communities, and companies to tackle the challenges of integrating drones into the federal airspace. Since Beyond started in 2020, we're proud to be the first member to receive Part 135 certification, which opens the door to flying on demand to meet customer needs at national scale. Not only have we been authorized to complete the longest range on demand commercial drone flight in America, but through this program, we're working closely with FAA to deploy a first of its kind system that will enable our drones to autonomously detect and avoid aircraft to fly beyond visual line of sight at scale in the U.S. airspace. We're strong partners for these organizations because of our commitment to safety. We build safety into every aspect of our service, from design to delivery. We see this throughout our business. Our team is continuously improving our operations to ensure that every delivery is a safe delivery. What that means is redundant systems where redundancies are meaningful, safety features where those redundancies may fail, training where people are involved, and thoughtful processes that keep everything working together smoothly. Our next generation platform will enable us to operate with the precision needed to fly safely into more complex environments over more highly populated areas. To do this, we're using acoustic and visual sensors that will improve our perception systems. And we're leveraging years of operational data to introduce innovative automation to monitor and maintain our system. We monitor with systems that allow our teams to safely oversee operations at scale, and we maintain every component to minimize any disruption to the service our customers have come to expect. Our vision is a global instant delivery system that provides a service unlike anything anyone has experienced before. We know that to remain the largest instant delivery system in the world, we need to take seriously the responsibility of operating in and over your communities. For a future where drone deliveries will go from novel to normal, where everyone has access to a better quality of life because they're able to get what they need when they need it. And we're making that future a reality by building the safest, most reliable system possible. And we're doing it with some of the most forward-thinking partners in the world. Here to talk more about the customers creating the future of delivery with Zipline is Deepak. Thank you, Akoma. And thank you to the extraordinary Zipline team who have climbed many mountains to scale our operations in Rwanda and other countries over the last several years. Drone delivery to our homes feels like we're in a sci-fi movie. It seems out of reach for most people. But in countries where we operate, drone delivery has quickly gone from novel to something that's expected. With autonomous home delivery, you as a customer can expect not just instant delivery on demand, but also precisely when you need it, based on your convenience and your availability. The time of delivery is centered around your needs rather than you adjusting your busy schedule to receive a critical delivery. This is important to us. Additionally, Zipline's home delivery is more affordable than the current approach. The decreasing cost of autonomous delivery at high volumes is a fundamental advantage versus the increasing cost of labor and fuel over time. Our goal is to achieve global scale. Zipline is therefore solving hard problems to build an end-to-end -end solution. We design and develop our own custom zips and software to fly them autonomously. We are building intuitive software that creates a great customer experience for end customers and that integrates easily at the back end with systems that manage inventory and order processing. And we designed the hardware to seamlessly integrate into the existing delivery operations of our clients. In the US, we're already working with some of the most innovative health systems, retailers and restaurants. During the pandemic, we saw a dramatic increase in telehealth. The digital solutions to support decentralized care have come a long way, but the physical systems are still lagging. 
I had a chance to talk to Dr. Rangi, CEO of Michigan Medicine, to hear how they plan to use Zipline's new technology to improve the lives of their patients. Hi, Dr. Rangi. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, Deepak. At Michigan Medicine, we are really proud to work together with Zipline to begin transporting everything from lab samples to prescriptions, and both of those from our facilities right to our patients' homes. This partnership with Zipline will let us get people their medications faster, more conveniently, and it'll let our team spend more time doing what we do best, serving patients. We estimate that once Zipline launches, most of our patients will be able to have their prescriptions delivered in just a few minutes. And that is an absolute game changer for people with conditions like diabetes, where going without medication for even an hour could turn serious. We look forward to rolling this service out to our community starting in 2024. Back to you, Deepak, and go blue. It's great to hear directly from Dr. Rangi the impact that Zipline's instant delivery can have on patient experience and access to care. The return logistics capabilities of our Zip, not just to deliver prescriptions as an example, but to bring back lab samples for analysis. This is a very valuable feature with many uses. We are partnering with Intermountain Health, Multicare, and others in the US to bring the next level of care directly to patients. Of course, the benefits of instant delivery extend beyond healthcare. We are seeing a huge demand globally in quick commerce and food delivery for Zipline solutions. Restaurants value the additional control over the customer's delivery experience and their ability to reach more customers that were previously out of their driving range without having to build new locations. And because our Zips don't have to deal with traffic on the roads, customers get their meals very fast while the food is still warm, almost like you're sitting in the restaurant. Speaking of restaurants, I'm standing inside one of my favorite salad places for many years, Sweet Green. And here with me is Sweet Green CEO, Jonathan Neiman. Hi, Jonathan. Hey, Deepak. It's great to be here with you. Would love to know more about Sweet Green. You know, we started Sweet Green in 2007 with the mission of building healthier communities by connecting people to real food. Today, we have almost 200 restaurants across 15 cities in the United States. You know, we're always looking for like-minded partners that believe in innovation and sustainability, and Zipline fits perfectly in that world. Tell us about your vision of how Zipline can help uh, serve Sweet Green. We're excited to work together and make our first delivery via the Zipline Marketplace and bring provide access to healthy food to more people around the country. There's so many places that are food deserts that do not have access to healthy food. And our vision at Sweetgreen has always been to eventually provide access to so many of those places. Our partnership with Zipline helps us accelerate this by providing a much broader access to the Sweetgreen experience, really removing any friction to eating healthy food. The future of delivery for Sweetgreen is faster, more affordable, broader access, and more sustainable. That's the aspect we like about this partnership. And Zipline, I think, can really make this happen. It's a true win-win-win. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. I'm looking forward to the day when I get a sweet green salad delivered to my house by Zipline. It is an honor for us to work with some of the most innovative businesses, communities, and governments globally. We wish to make a meaningful difference in the lives of people globally, while also taking better care of our environment. And now back to Keller. Thanks, Deepak. Ultimately, Zipline's success is a direct result of our ability to serve our customers. And as you heard today, whether it's the government of Rwanda or customers like Michigan Medicine and Sweetgreen, so many of our partners have amazing and inspiring missions of their own. Before we wrap up today, I want to introduce someone who has really inspired me. He's a leader in the fight against AIDS and has catalyzed a global movement to fight extreme poverty. I was so excited when we found out that he wanted to join Zipline's board a few years ago. Here to talk about his vision for the future, please welcome Bono. Thanks, Keller. Hello, everyone. Um, I've spent my life trying to avoid being on boards or in front of them, school boards, parole boards, it's a joke. No, I, I, I'm more used to bands than boards, whether that's with 
Edge, Adam and Larry, or my fellow activists in One and Red, um, or indeed my comrades in, in Rise. Yeah, I'm more used to bands than boards. And Zipline is a, is, a, is a band to me. I'm very proud to be on its board, the only board I am on, uh, of a commercial company. I don't know if, if some of you already know this, but my bandmate Edge is actually from the future. Um, I occasionally ask him what it's like there. His answer is always the same. He says, it's better. Well, I think a uh, zip line is from the future. A future where life-saving, life-affirming medicines um, are just much more available to everyone. A more equitable distribution of life-saving medical treatments is our mission here. Um, this small group of nerds have turned their very big brains to solving some of the world's thorniest logistical problems. Not only that. <laughs> these clever people have figured out how to make these solutions sustainable by having all of this become a brilliant business. Anyway, there's a lot of stats out there. I think most of you know the data, but there's one that stands out to me in Rwanda. Hospitals working with Zipline have seen an 88% reduction in maternal deaths due to postpartum hemorrhage. It's really a moment to meditate on, I suppose. The impact is incalculable uh, for the women whose lives have been saved, for their families, you know, being spared unknowable awfulness. Routine vaccinations are up 21% in Ghana at facilities served by Zipline. Let me introduce you to someone who's in much better position to speak um, to Zipline's impact. Dr. Jean-Pierre Buchaniandi at Sabuya Referral Hospital. Check him out. Before Zipline services, we had to wait for hours or even days before our patient got to what they are recommended to have. And this was frustrating seeing your patient suffering. You know what you can do, you know what the patient needs, but you, you are not able to access in a timely manner to what the patient needs to have. So this time now that we have uh, access to zipline services, which makes available the blood product in a timely way, when your patient needs blood and you give blood, in the majority of the time you see the result with quick impact. We are doing something for them. We are not just being there assisting them suffer while we know what could have been done. Well, we've heard a lot about scale today, but it's the stories of, of, of people like Dr. Buccinihandi that, that, that show us in, in much more real, dimensional, emotional ways, actually, what Zipline is doing. Um, lives changed. And, and also, I suppose, the doctor speaks to the potential to do much more of this. Flight ops and engineering teams um, are saving an extraordinary amount of lives every day, but they are looking for ways they can further innovate to reach even more people. And, you know, that's, that's important to me. They, uh, it's not just the, the aircraft that are taking off people on the ground, their imaginations are taking off. They love to turn up to work and solve these kinds of problems. Um, as far as Zipline has come, I, I would suggest the, the journey's just starting. So very humble to be part of this. Um, thank you, Keller. Thanks to the team. Um, actually, I'm just going to hand it back to you, Keller, if that's OK. So tell us where we're headed next. Thanks, Bono. We're only just beginning to see the impact of this global infrastructure on healthcare access, the environment, and economic opportunity. Today's announcement of Zipline's home delivery service is the next step in our mission to build the world's first logistics system that serves all humans equally. Earlier today, I talked about this crazy idea of magical portals and teleportation. 
This may sound like science fiction, but very soon our partners will actually be using Zipline to deliver to homes across the countries we serve. Thanks to the Zipline team for an incredible amount of hard work and perseverance getting us to this point. And thank you to all of Zipline's partners and customers who are helping make this vision a reality. I appreciate you all joining us this morning. We've been putting up with slow, expensive, gas-guzzling delivery for too long. It's time to build the logistics system of the future for everyone. We hope you join us on this adventure.